going into game one. I actually didn't see what stage we're on, so let's see what these two competitors decided. PS2. PS2. PS2 makes the best games, as TK Breezy would say. Mm. And I abide by his rules, especially for commentary. Um, now we see, ooh, quick up, be at a shield. What a great uh, combo breaker for Lucina. Mm -hmm. Now, these players have played against each other quite a bit mm -hmm. uh, over their time at Purdue. Uh, they are not unfamiliar to each other. And certainly, they're not unfamiliar to this matchup. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens here. I think Lucina, overall, is the character who people think is a, a higher tier, a better, a better character. Right. <laughs> but uh, Pac-Man thrives on, you know, big brain, mega mind setups uh, to get his kills. And uh, his so somewhat strong, or his few strong commanding Ooh. aerials to take care of off stage. But right now, yeah, right now we're seeing some stage control come out, but Boost opting to go for that early up B. You see Boost go, Ooh. that was a big committal read. Spot dodging the F smash. He thought there was going to be another roll there, but there wasn't. The uppy going through the hydrant there, getting him back to ledge safely. Trade, I think that was up till I believe so, like yeah. down air, first hit down air, something like that. Oop. Fighting right back with the F smash. Don't know if that was a read or just a little bit of a miscalculation on a boost part, but Ooh. now we see the second stock come out relatively even. We'll see how this recovery works. Spocky getting back on stage, both competitors still in their mid 20s. Spocky now attacking on a little bit of damage, the melon forcing Boost to go low. Boost stuck Ooh. off stage. Not enough end lag or lag on that hydrant to actually get the uh, the F smash there, so Boost escaped with his stock, but Spocky did have a little bit of a lead, but now Boost has stage control here. Oh, he thought the up, he was going to go for a different up B and he was going to counter it and try to go for a little bit of a read there. Didn't really backfire, but he just didn't get anything out of the ledge right. trap in this scenario. Nothing gained, um, but nothing lost either. Parry into, wait a second, into F smash. Up B at a shield. I've seen Booth going for a lot of these, uh, uh, like, F tilts, and none of them have really been working out, so. Yeah, we'll see what adaptions he can make the up air, missing with a little bit of the, the iframes on my tech right there. Hmm. See what he can go through. Another F tilt, finally catching it with a backswing. Not going to do much, though. The up B, Spock, who didn't uh, punish that at all, didn't know that he either didn't think he could or was, un or was unprepared for that option. Living to 160 against Lucina. Fair at the ledge, not killing quite yet. Spaku going a little bit of a curvy Ooh. pattern. Getting the tech. Great tech from that up B. Going for the, you have to imagine that maybe like, you know, another option could have been better there. Ooh, getting the bell through the stage. Bell going through the stage, Able to yes. recover, get back to mid-stage. Able Reset to get neutral. Yeah, able to get back to neutral relatively quickly. Going for another F smash read. Up throw. And that will do it living to 200. If he gets a, all of that stock value with all of his stocks, this match could be very drawn out. Mm. We see a boost now at 88. So Spaku having quite a bit of a lead to go with. Read the roll into the up smash. Spocky going up 1-0 in this set. Let's see what the counter pick from Boost is going to be on this. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're going here. The Kal Ooh. Kalos would be a weird choice against a Pac-Man. Hmm. It, it's Smashville. Smashville for game two. That was Ty Bowl. Obviously no bias here. Maybe the seating reflects that. No. <laughs> 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 game two on Smashville, just now starting. Spaku what up 1-0. Let's see if Boost can make anything happen in this game two. Take it to game three. What? And he walked over and said, let's go Spaku. And I was like, no bias here. Maybe that affected the seating. <laughs> Catching his side B with the Can he get bear. back on here? What am I saying? He probably can. Now can he, though? 
Ooh, missing the tech. Still can. Oh, he and took that's the jump. stock. And he took the trampoline. Unfortunate. As well. yes. A reverse gimp right there. Very well done by Spocky. Spocky with 97, though. There's a lot of things that Lucina has in her kit that can take this, especially off stage. There you go. And now we see the stocks even up. Spocky with a 44% lead right now in terms of percent. That can be closed up pretty quickly with Lucina's strings. Mm. Dancing Blade ending with an upward finisher, trying to set up for an up air string, maybe. Weird little trade, up B, add a shield, quick option, does have invulnerability when starting on the ground. Boost hanging on ledge, thinking Spock is going to try and delay his recovery a little bit. Yeesh, yawn. Oh, the grab Ooh. and the F smash read. Not going to take it quite yet. And the counter on the side B boost finally taking a stock lead. At a 100% though, all of Spaku's smash attacks here, if he gets a good read, he'll take it, as well as a good setup. the grab right there. Spocky trying to set up some stuff. Get it in. Boost going off stage. He didn't wants to deny this space right here. Get rid of the setups. Ledge cancel on the fair. And finally Spocky taking it with a back air. But he's at 92%. Can he make a good comeback here? Take this game two and finish out the set? Or will Boost take this to a game three? Great tech on the upbeat once again. Avoiding the save spike. But another upbeat from Boost. You have to imagine that's getting stale at this point. Another up B. Yeah, this is definitely stale. Mm. And the F smash catching the landing right there. Boost taking game two, going, pushing it to a game three. And we saw a really significant momentum shift where uh, Boost, even after S uh, getting reverse gimped at about 50, was able to bring that back pretty confidently. So it, it'll be inter interesting to see what Spaku does to kind of shift the momentum. Going to Battlefield, Dracula's Castle formation, always the aesthetic. Spock, who does tend, he, he, whenever he goes to Battlefield, he normally just, he, he goes to Dracula's yeah. Castle. Game three between these two, I'm sure this is no strange thing for them. Starting this off on Battlefield. Who's starting off with a quick grab and up throw into back air. Very, very quick, 43%. Ooh, some apple yep. combos. Only 26%, though. That's only about half of what Boost has. Good F smash read right there. Not going to take anything quite yet. Not at a high enough percent. What's going to happen here? Gets back to lay it ledge relatively safely with a magnificent up air. Ooh. Getting the weak hit of the F smash there, but still enough to push Boost out of his combos. Hmm. Another great F smash read from Boost, taking that first stock, 77% to his name. Catching the nair, preventing any follow-ups off that down throw. Let's see if Spocker can even up this stock count really quick. Close, but no dice. Once again, I think he's fishing too hard for these smash attacks. Bell coming through, manages to catch it. It looks super shiny on this stage, I don't know why. Um, catching the up smash after that uh, uh, that up B that boost did. Evening up the stock count, 53%. That might be, be able to be evened up right here. The grab whiffed. Not able to even it up quite as much as he wanted to. The spot dodge not taking. No, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ooh, up B, I think he was predicting a neutral get up there. Ooh. Catching the lemon with the back air and ended up killing Spaku for it. I think Spaku is a proponent of being not being able to catch the uh, the fruits or items in general with normals. I don't think he's a, a big fan of that. Thinks it kind of invalidates his characters. It can incentivize just randomly spamming aerials. 
Besides the point, though, uh, Boost now tacking 63% onto the final stock of Spaku in this game three. Let's see if he can close it out. Bell setup's not going to do anything quite yet. Does take a while to get back. I don't know if we're going to be able to see another one soon. Launching the Hydrant off, throwing the orange, not doing anything. Mm, the missing counter, the counter. Not going to do anything. This is even percents, but not even stocks. Boost still up a stock. Even if Spaku takes this, he has to deal with over 100% percent deficit. I don't think he was expecting to get that grab there, so he got his back. There we go, taking the final stock. Spaku at 107%. A Lucina F smash will probably take it at this point. Boost might be trying to play out the long game, though. Maybe get an up throw like he did game uh, one to end it. Or at game one to end the stock. Spaku trying to close all this out. 33% on boost, going for a ballsy F smash read right there. Same thing with Spaku. These players really want to attack on this damage and end these stocks. F smash, but even if boost was in that uh, range, he spot dodged it. Great tech once again. Neutral get up into roll off stage. Ooh, he jumped into the bell, but not much of a punish off of it. I don't think either player was expecting that. Ooh, missing. Not quite enough lag on that up B to actually finish that. The down smash interrupting that shield breaker. The set just got a lot closer, a lot quicker. 99% on boost. It's 163 on Spaku. Lucina back will definitely take it at this point. But Spaku's F smashes from Pac-Man will also take it. Anything could happen right here. Going for the hydrant sounds, not getting anything off of it. Oh. F smash, wrong direction, but even then, I don't think it would have caught him. Oh no, the, the counter. counter! The counter hitbox actually not hitting that side B right there. Oh no, that'll do it. Bell into F smash, Spaku taking it 2 1.